Hey guys, this is Scott from the Corvette Channel. As you guys know, I do lots of videos showing you guys how to do things and how to be able to make get discounts and things like that. And I've got a lot of different manufacturers that they send me stuff from time to time that w they want me to review it and see how it works. And then if it if I if it meets with my seal of approval, then I can go ahead and I can give you guys some sort of discount or tell you guys about it and that type of stuff. And so I've got today. I've got this product that is made by One Car Stereo and it's called the AI Box Lite and what it does is it converts your wired uh, Android Audio and CarPlay to wireless okay and I know guys there's a pile of these boxes out there already but I'm here to tell you that I have already gone through two other boxes um, trying to get one that worked and they tend to, they start off, they work fine, and then after a very short amount of time, they start getting warm, and then they start acting funny. Uh, it may be that the music doesn't resume after the phone call, or the music becomes scratchy, or whatever. Um, these folks over there, they went ahead and they sent me this box. I was actually pretty skeptical when I opened the box, because it looks almost identical to all the other ones on the market. Um, but it intrigued me because, one, it also adds Netflix onto the system so you can actually play it on the screen, which, guys, I don't recommend you guys doing that going down the road, but um, it does make it kind of nice when you're sitting there waiting, uh, waiting on somebody and you're just sitting in the parking lot waiting. You can actually watch, watch some movies if you wanted to. But I went ahead and I tried this, and I... I put it in, I figured I would try it for a week or two, and then it would, and then I'd be able to give you an answer on how it works, because I figured that was going to be a plenty enough time. But the way timing has gotten away with me, I have been using this for almost two months in this Escalade. This is a 2016 Escalade, um, and it has, everything's wired still, and um, so we just plug this right into the USB port, and you join it to your phone. and. Um, and it just it, the thing just works it never has an issue and that was that was so pleasing to me that I wrote back to the manufacturer I said hey look I said I want to get get my viewers a discount and they are working on that so as we are filming this right now they'll they're gonna be getting me a discount code so once I have that I'll be able to be able to put that in when I'm editing this video I'm gonna be able to put that right here in the video um, but you can see right here that, um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and open the door here, the little, uh, sometimes it opens, sometimes it don't, there we go. But uh, I'm going to open this door, and I'm literally just going to uh, just plug it into the USB port that's hidden in there. Now, you can see that this is, I'm just going to put it inside this door doorway and close it. So you can see it becomes a very enclosed area that the heat builds up in there and it still doesn't have a problem. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move the camera over so you can see what's going on here and it's going to, I have an iPhone so we're going to connect to the iPhone and we'll show you how it plays music, it does the maps, it does all that type of stuff but like I said it does it flawlessly and it doesn't ever hiccup. Alright so now you can see that we've got our unit plugged in inside here in our compartment and we're going to go ahead and we're going to close the door and then when you plug yours in it's going to pop up it's going to take a couple seconds for this screen to for the unit to, to load and then it'll come up to this screen and then you can go up to this the stop button right there and then at that point it will be looking for different phones that it's already connected to and I had had my phone connected to it but I've disconnected it for the purpose of this video but you can see right here that it's showing that it, it's projecting its name as BT 538F so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit that on my on my phone so it, so it'll join okay and you can see that it it joined and now you can see that it's getting ready to load all of the information up and it's gonna connect up here in just a second there we go. Okay. Ever approach this issue as if it were speculative or so, investigatory, 
or possible. So it's, it's playing. It's, it's already started to play. Today. One report said two thousand. There we go. So now you can see here you've got all of your different options here. Um, it's typically the last place that you've gone is up here. When you're gone somewhere else, it'll show you where you started from, which is usually home. No different than regular Apple CarPlay. Um, it works seamless, okay? But if we wanted to go ahead and we wanted to do that, we'd just go ahead and tap on here and hit OK. Starting route and you can see, X Street. you can see it just loads right up. So I now can put drive. my phone down, right. don't need it in the way, and you've got Apple, your Apple CarPlay, okay? You also, if you pay for YouTube Premium, you can also get your YouTube Premium right here on your screen. It loads right in and you can go to the home screen of, of uh, let's say for instance, we're just going to play some a super mix here of some sort. We're going to pause that real quick so nobody can, I don't get any, tr get in trouble with any of the any uh, YouTube strikes there. But you can see that it works very seamlessly and um, it just does everything. Here's your Here's your phones. You can see who your last calls were, your contacts, everything the way the way it works when it's wired, but it works wirelessly. Okay, so you've got everything right there. So that is really all there is to it. Um, if you notice here, if you tap the screen, there's like a little box that's right here. It floats here just for a little bit, and that takes you back to the main screen. Okay, at that point you can run different apps that you would have in, you have installed already on the unit itself and you can hit the back button just like that or you can go into Netflix and I set this up a while back and here we go so here it comes so here we go we'll just go ahead and we'll just play play one of those examples here and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about that it will just start playing uh, Netflix so you can go ahead and log into your Netflix account and you'll be good to go so you can do this going down the road you can do it sitting still but you can see that it works and not a lot of these other ones do that I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cancel out of here because I don't want to get in trouble putting this on film but <clears throat> you can see just by we're gonna hit the home button right there and we're gonna go back into CarPlay and then it'll reconnect up but this does it for CarPlay as well as the Android audio and um, it's there you go you, you can see that it it's still uh, there we go again I'm gonna get myself in trouble but there we go so we're gonna stop the music here but it has all the functionality and it just continues to work so that's the cool part so guys what I'm gonna do uh, again I will be putting all of that information up there uh, your discount all of the links to be able to go get it and I highly recommend that if you guys are looking for a box just like this whether you use Netflix or not because I really don't um, but if if you guys do then you've got it but as just as far as being able to make phone calls be able to do the wireless CarPlay this is just it so guys if you're in the market for a wireless CarPlay adapter or Android audio adapter look no further go ahead and go to their website right here at the bottom of the screen and be sure and check out the discount code on the bottom of the screen also to get your discount and guys I just want to thank you guys all for watching you guys have a great day